Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss about the clavicle bone. So the clavicle bone has a broader part that is called the broader end that is called the sternal end and a flatter end that is called as the acromial end. Apart from that, it has a long shaft which is having the medial two-third of the long shaft is convex anteriorly and the lateral one-third of this shaft is concave anteriorly. Okay, now whenever we are given a bone, we should know to determine the side of the bone that whether it is a right clavicle or it is a left clavicle. For determining this, we should take care of three points. First of all, this broader end should face medially because it is the sternal end. So it should face medially. Then we have to take care that the medial two third should have convex surface anteriorly it should be anteriorly anteriorly convex right and then the third point is to determine the superior and inferior part okay so for determining that you just go into the middle third of this clavicle the middle portion of the clavicle and just have a round then you can feel a depression you can feel a depression in the inferior surface this depression or this group is called as the subclavian groove where the subclavius muscle is attached okay so just by knowing about these three points the sternal end should be medially placed the anterior portion of the medial two-third should be convex and the subclavian groove that you can feel in the middle portion should be inferiorly placed okay so by knowing about these three points, I could determine that this is a left clavicular bone. Now let us study about the muscle attachments of this clavicle bone. First of all, lateral one third. In the lateral one third, we have two surface and two borders, the superior surface and the inferior surface. Now the anterior border and the posterior border, posterior border. So first thing is that why they are called borders because they are very sharp they are very sharp therefore they can't be called as surface so this is the anterior border and in back we have the posterior border right so in the anterior border you just imagine it in the anterior border there is an insertion of deltoid muscle coming from the arm right in the anterior border we will have deltoid muscle and in the posterior border muscles from back that is the trapezius muscle is going to come and join at the back portion and in the superior portion there is nothing no prominent structure there will be certain subcutaneous muscles and fats joining at the superior border superior portion right now the most important part of lateral one third is the inferior portion. The inferior portion has a conoid tubercle that you can feel prominent tubercle, a conoid tubercle and then by following this conoid tubercle you will have a ridge, you will find a ridge. That ridge is called as the trapezoid line. Okay. So what are the things that is attached to conoid tubercle? and the trapezoid line so for understanding this you should know about the you should know about the costoclavicular ligament sorry not costoclavicular i'm very very sorry you should know about the coracoclavicular ligament so by know, knowing at the name you could understand that this ligament is coming from the coracoid process of scapula and inserting at this point that is the conoid tubercle and the trapezoid line so this uh, coracoclavicular ligament helps in transmitting the weight from the upper limb to the sternum this ligament has two parts the conoid part and the trapezoid part the conoid part attaches to this conoid tubercle that i have mentioned and the trapezoid part the trapezoid part is going to attach to the trapezoid line so that's all about the 
lateral one third of the clavicle bone now let's study about the medial one third of the clavicle bone now in the medial middle one third medial one third also we have four surfaces the superior surface the inferior surface the anterior surface and the posterior surface so in the superior surface in the superior surface of medial medial two third the superior surface muscles from superior parts are going to come right here we have clavicle and muscles from superior part that is the sternocleidomastoid muscle is going to come and attach here in the superior portion in the anterior portion you can just imagine see if you uh, put the clavicle here you will see you, you can imagine the pectoralis major to come right so the pectoralis major will come and join at the anterior surface and then again in the medial two-third also the most important part is the inferior inferior surface in the lateral two-third also the inferior was most important because it had the conoid tubercle and the trapezoid line right so in the med medial two-third also the inferior part is very important first of all here we have the subclavian groove that i've already mentioned right we have the subclavian groove which will have the attachment of uh, subclavius muscle and in the lips of this group just following the boundaries of this group you will find a fascia known as the clavipectoral fascia which will insert in the lip of this subclavian groove then if you come at the sternal end right uh, just uh, near the sternal end you will find the oval depression you will find the oval depression where there will be attachment of costoclavicular ligament now the name again suggests costoclavicular costo is related something towards the ribs right so there are certain ligaments going from the ribs to this clavicle this ligament are called as the costoclavicular ligament and they are going to attach at this oval depression region okay so that's all about the shaft of the humerus now the acromial end this acromial end is going to be attached to the acromion process of the scapula forming a joint known as acromioclavicular joint then this sternal end this sternal end is going to join to the sternum to be more specific the sternum the upper portion of sternum has manubrium now this manubrium has a notch has a space where this clavicle bone will join that space in manubrium is known as the clavicular notch so this sternal portion or the sternal facet of the clavicle is going to join at the manubrium the clavicular notch of the manubrium of sternum so i hope the sternum is very clear to you and you can remember certain structures at least uh, so good luck have a nice day